There are many methods in multiplying multi-step numbers. Some of them are the long method, the lattice method, and the distributive property of multiplication over addition. To divide large numbers, we follow these steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat or remainder. To solve an equation involving order of operations, remember the mnemonics. GEMDAS, which stands for grouping symbols, exponent, multiplication or division, and addition or subtraction. Exponential notation is the shortest way of writing repeated multiplication. The base is the number that is being multiplied repeatedly. Exponent tell us to multiply the number by itself certain number of times. A prime number is a whole number greater than 1 which has only two factors, 1 and the number itself. A composite number is a whole number with three or more factors. A prime factorization is a process of expressing a composite number as a product of its prime factors. A number, every number is divisible by 1. So a number is divisible by 2 if it is even. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is a multiple of 3. A number is divisible by 4 if its last two digits are divisible by 4. A number is divisible by 5 if its last digit is either 0 or 5. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. A number is divisible by 7 if the difference between twice the unit's digit and the remaining digit is divisible by 7. A number is divisible by 8 if the last two, three digits are divisible by 8. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digit is divisible by 9. A number is divisible by 10 if the unit digits is 0. Factors are numbers being multiplied to get the product. Greatest common factor or GCF is the biggest number that can exactly divide the given numbers. The methods of finding the GCF of two or more numbers are listing, prime factorization, continuous division, and the Euclidean algorithm. Multiples are products of a given numbers and the natural or counting numbers. Least common multiple or LCM is the least number that can exactly be divided by the given numbers. The three methods of finding the LCM of two or more numbers are listing, prime factorization, and continuous division. A mixed number or a mixed fraction is composed of a whole number and fraction while an improper fraction has a number which is greater than or equal to the denominator. To change a mixed number to the to the to an improper fraction, multiply the whole number by the denominator, then add the numerator. The answer will become the new numerator. Finally, copy the same denominator. To change an improper fraction to a mixed number, divide the numerator by the denominator. The quotient will become the whole number while the remainder will become the numerator. Lastly, copy the same denominator. To express a function in its lowest term or in its simplest form, we divide both the numerator and the denominator by their greatest common factor. To add the similar fractions, change them first to similar fractions, then add. To add mixed numbers, first, add the whole number parts. Second, change the fractional parts to like fractions. Third, add the fractional parts and fourth, Write the answer in the simplest form. To subtract the similar fractions, change them to similar fractions, then subtract the numerators and copy the common denominator. To subtract mixed numbers, first, subtract the whole number parts. Second, change the fractional parts to like fractions. Third, subtract the fractional part. And fourth, write the answer in the simplest form. To multiply fractions, we follow these rules. First, in multiplying a fraction by a fraction, multiply the numerator as well as the denominators and express the answer in simplest form. Two, in multiplying a fraction by a whole number, express the whole number as a fraction 
with a denominator of 1. Then, multiply the numerators and the denominators and express the answer in simplest form. 3. In multiplying mixed numbers, express the mixed numbers as improper fractions. Then, multiply the numerators and the denominators and express the answer in simplest form. To divide fractions, we follow these steps. First, get the reciprocal of the divisor. Second, change the division sign to multiplication sign. Third, multiply the numerators. Four, multiply the denominators. And fifth, express the answer in its simplified form if needed.